Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> How are we doing, everybody? Happy, uh, happy live stream. This is, uh, this is what's happening right now. How are we doing, chat? I can uh, hear everything you say in my ear, but I can also see it on the screen. All these lovely, lovely comments. Um... <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I can wear this over the headset. It's going to be too warm. warm. Let's, let's, let's give this a go. go. <laughs> well, let's have a look. If I put this on, I don't know, it, it probably won't fit over. But it's always worth like to try. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, why are we wearing a stupid uh, bunny costume? Right, how's everyone doing? This is so uncomfortable to wear. <laughs> now listen, um, can you hear me good? Can everyone hear me well? Uh, hopefully you can. Uh, we've got the great microphone there. We've got some red wine that I've had. Honestly, I have to say, you got a mic echo. Oh, here. Is that better? That should uh, get rid of the echo now. It was uh, using double audio, double audio. Sorry about that. That should be a lot better now. Um, okay, this is this is a, a very different live stream to normal, and. We've been meaning to do this for a while now. I am honestly not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> I really don't want to play this game. I'm not that far into this game. So, and this is from Donnie Darko, yeah. Frank, Frank, this is the official Frank the Bunny costume. God, it's really hard to talk with all these voices in my ear. So, oh man, okay. So, I'm not that far into this game. I've just got past a really scary bit and I'm going to replay it again where you're at the dinner table and then you've got to escape Mr. Baker. Um, I don't know if we should start with RE7. There's a few other games I want to play. Uh, Sin Studios have just launched uh, a Swordsman update uh, called Hell, which might be just a bit of fun. So I think maybe we should just start with that because I don't think we're going to be on it for that long. It's a boss fight. So we'll go into that, see how it goes. Right, that's so right, cool. So I can now hear you. I'm in VR. This is really hard to do with rabbit hands. Uh, okay, all right. Swordsman, here we go. So this is just Halloween themed. I don't think it's gonna be scary, but who knows, there could be some scary elements in it. And I just need to make sure I don't knock anything out. Um, I realise that Stingray's text is still on the screen, so I'm just going to mute that. Sorry, Stingray. <laughs> oh, man. So how's everyone doing? Click the like button if you haven't already. Um, I'm also going to play Five Nights at Freddy's. I just want to show you what VR's like. Um... All good. I'm glad you said all good. Right, I need to wait until we're in the game first. Um, there we go. Right, it's loading now. Okay, Unreal Engine. I haven't played this game for ages, but Swordsman I, I really enjoy. Here we go, got these buddies here. And it might actually help if I plug in the headphones. Also, living by yourself makes games scary. If I had someone in the room with me, I'd feel a lot better. Right, there we go. Oh no, I don't have my um, save game, right. One second. This won't take a minute.
Do you know what? I'm going to have to get out of this costume. It is absolutely boiling. That's awesome, mate, Joe. It's the complete opposite to me. My week has been absolutely manic. I had no weekend. And I've got to edit a mini film for a client after. Not this live show, because the reason this is earlier is I'm going to be co-hosting PSVR about parole, uh, their state of play live stream later, which I'm really excited about. Right, that should be it. Right, I'm sorry about this, guys. Really, really terrible start. There was just so much to get right for this. Here we go. Thank you for all the love and hugs. And if you've never experienced VR before, this is going to be um, hilarious for you. I do love the voice. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Game Cat's in the house. But the guy in my ear is saying, Gamma Cats, Gamma Cats in the house. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better, because I've completed the game. Now, I want to make sure I can't hit that. Okay, I can hit that. So I might have to sit back a little bit. Okay, the new Hell Fight. Now, if I can remember the controls. Yep, yeah, this is my fighter. And look, you can actually see what my fighter looks like if I go over here, I believe. That's what I look like. I'm pretty pro. Um, the thing is, the zombie mode in this, I don't like. Because uh, it just freaks me out. Everything freaks me out. Okay, what? Okay. Right, we've got a new boss, okay? The patch notes here. I love what they do here. Okay. Um, this is it. Okay. Oh, God, that looks scary. Here we are. So what you do... Wow, this place is awesome. So I put my hands out. And I can double-handed it. Shit. Okay, that's the controls, right. It's really hard to do it with rabbit hands. What the... F I can kick her. God, she's pretty bloody. I usually play this standing up, so this feels a bit weird. Whoa. She killed me. Oh my god. Okay. Do you know what? <laughs> I really hate to say this. I'm going to have to take this rabbit costume off. This is absolutely baking. I'm going to be a sweaty, sweaty mess. So... Let me um, let me just take it off one second. I will be be right back. Much better. Much, much better. Right, say something in the chat and hopefully I'll be able to hear you. My earpiece fell up. So I have to put an earpiece under my ear.
Cool. Yeah, I can hear you good. Okay. Hey, Katie. Oh, really? <laughs> I love it. Spooky, spooky, I know. This is not even the scary stuff yet. We're going to get to the scary stuff next, but this is like just a bit of fun. Oh, man, it's... Beat Saber is my main one. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? She's grabbed my sword. What? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to play this game. There we go. Okay, she threw me off the edge. And I died. Right, let's forget about this one. <laughs> I can't do it sat down. Oh man, I don't know if I'm... <sighs> yeah, Beat, Beat Saber's got a, um, a uh, Halloween song, which I can show you quickly before we get to this real scary stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing rubbish at it because I've just not played Swordsman for a while and I need to get back to it. Okay, here we go. So I normally don't play Beat Saber. Sat down. Okay, this is a tree. Okay, this is, this is the new... Here we go. Got this really weird... Oh, this is weird sat down. You know what? <laughs> let's do, let's do it. Let's do it stood up. Oh, can you not? You can't hear the game audio at all. Let me uh, let me fix that. That would really help. Um, God, sorry for all this DIY stuff. Now hopefully this will be good for me being stood up. Yeah, it is. Okay, right. Um, let me just press restart and you tell me if you can hear this. Can you hear that now?
Time to get to some horror stuff. I think we need to build it up with RE7 as the grand finale. Killing floor incursion isn't that scary, but it is pretty freaky. <laughs> I normally have a heart rate monitor on the screen that you can see. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh man, see, I'm already getting freaked out about RE7, because when you're in VR... It's so true. Right, here we go. Did I move the camera? Seriously, I'm absolutely terrified of RE7. <laughs> this is a very tame game. Nice. Can you still hear me good, yeah? So, what do we have here? Looks like a lieutenant wasn't paying attention when some Gorefast clocked him upside the head. Report says head trauma while on cleanup duty in Sector 2. Management says right. give them the full treatment. That will hurt, poor bastard. Prep the rig. Report says they've got an implant, so we don't need the rig. Nice. Not sure why a meathead like this has a neural implant. Let's bring up their last memory and see what went wrong. Uh -oh. Alright, booting up now. No. No. So it's about a simulator, uh, they have like a simulation to train, look at that face, that's pretty scary. They have a simulator to train soldiers, but like you get trapped in it I believe. way more data than it should be get them back under now what's going on good morning lieutenant but yeah all your Take text it easy is coming into my ears so i can hear you i'm dr emma rose your bit. neurological simulation supervisor you're a member of Horsine Corporation's security forces. Thanks to a head injury you sustained in combat. Here we go. I'll just do a level of this. Flash 
flashlight. Oh, that's the menu. Um, is there settings? Yes. Yeah. Exit to my menu. I'm an idiot. I wanted to. Um... How are we doing? It's only twenty past. Okay, cool. So guys, I've, I'm going to be on for like an hour, an hour from now, and it's going to get really, really good. Especially when I start doing the scary stuff. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to some of this stuff though. Okay, it's um. Bring up the menu again. That's credits. Gameplay, is it? No. How do I do um, smooth turn? There it is. Why have uh, I got this square around Wait. Me? This isn't right. This isn't the simulation I loaded. Well, it is. You're supposed to be here, just it should be in better shape. Right, how and do I on a sunny that? day. And the staging room shouldn't have a gummy. Maybe it's because I'm receiving a transmission. The parameters for this simulation it does look like are comfort set settings, which are really Let's cool. just say extra creepy. Never mind. Head down the road and across the bridge. Control theatre off. There we go. There we go. See, lights always make things a lot more um, immersive. So I normally play this with a friend. Anyone there? Speak to me. <laughs> Chat. Let's See if you can get that gate open. I've set up a hacking tool to help you get through the lock. Oh. I love these puzzles. Okay, fantastic. Head inside. Blue. <laughs> Wait, what? A bunch of combat programs just came online. Oh, for goodness sake. Looks like you hit the combat early. Here Sorry, Lieutenant. There's a knife and some ammo in the middle of the trailer park. Grab them and take out the Zeds. They're called Zeds, that's it. There's a knife. There's a way to, like, we... These system glitches are getting really annoying. It looks like the way forward is blocked by that wooden gate. Sorry, Lieutenant. Can you find some way to get the gate open? How do I get the no uh, knife? Is it over my... Oh, dude, and when you're in it, Mojo, they're, like, even better. What? So let's go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've got to find fuel. Let me just holster this. And what I love... Uh, there has oh, to be a fuel kernel or something around here, Lieutenant. Maybe the flashlight would help. It. It's bloody dark out there. And if you 
do it that way and throw it. Right, let's have a look. Need to find uh, a gas canister. The problem with um, VR horror is I just hype it up way too much for myself. That's how I scare myself loads. Oh god, I'm really scared for that. I don't want to play it, but it's going to be good. Yes, it is. Right, where's the gas? Are asking Load for help, Lieutenant? Or maybe the fuel can's behind one of these trailers? Yeah, I'm looking. Absolutely blind. Okay, that screaming's not good. There it is. I don't like those screams. Here we go. Seriously, more Zeds. You'll have to keep them busy while the gate opens. That's fine. It's the uh, spider ones that are horrible. Come on, where are the Zeds? Some glitch or a yeah, my friend Johnny says he wishes place. it was high. He's out seeing some the sort movie June. He says he would have played play co-op with me. I don't know how. It's a closed system. The boss isn't going to like this. The simulation is not obeying the rules. Not good. We need to get you out of here. Follow the road and turn right at the mailbox. The extraction point is that way. Eventually. Yeah, the spiders are going to come out in a minute. Here we are. It is sick. Both words meanings. Spiders. I don't. These spiders are fucking horrible, man. And when they, oh, they're actually worse when you kill them. Okay, they're this way. There they are. Horrible, horrible. 
horrible things. Hear it. This simulation is going to crash soon and take you with it if we don't get you out of here. Out of we must get you to the extraction noise. portal, but I need you to get some data on the way out. Don't worry, it will require a lot of shooting and stabbing. So Nothing to kill. Playing to your strengths here. I hear him. The surround sound. You have to keep running away from them. And more bad news, Lieutenant. It's when you get this a headshot, it goes into slow mo. Bad news. Remember that thing but about yeah, it does make it easier. I think it's like, yeah, you get a headshot. Yeah, not so much. Right, I need ammo. So I'm just going to go back and grab this. Through your neural connection. It won't kill you the first time, but just don't die too much, or at all. I'm sorry I loaded you up into this simulation. I'll see if I can do anything to get the safety protocols back up on my end. In the meantime, keep moving. The extraction point is down that dark and creepy side road. Thanks, Emma. Because, of course it is. I do have grenades. I think. Maybe not. There. That's a horrible thing. Oh. Some code in that house has gotten corrupted. Quiet. We need Freaks to clean it out. out. Otherwise, this place is going to crash sooner rather than later. Hang on a sec. Oh, great. More Zeds incoming. Shit. I don't like it when they jump up at you, it's when they get in your face. Lieutenant, see about hacking the lock on that door. Throw it in the wall. It is satisfying. Let's do that. Great. 
great work. Your training already paid off. We need to find the corrupted code fragments in this house. They're doing serious damage to simulation stability. The scanner on your flashlight should do the trick. Search around the house and look for anything out of the ordinary. I'll open a deletion portal. Just place the corrupted code into the portal to destroy it. I know there are Zeds around, but you have to keep looking. Focus. We can't move on until we find these pieces of corrupted code. Still here. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> that is what a jump scare is. Remember, totally natural. We won't be able to get the data from this level if you don't clean out this corrupted code. Get a drink. <laughs> nope. I don't know how it looked on the screen, but that was right in my face. I hear them all downstairs. Now, oh, there's an alternate thing here. And it allows me to see on the wall. Right, oh, here we go. You need to look around for the virus corrupted code. It could be on a shelf. On the floor, uh, but it's somewhere in the house. Remember, use the scanning mode on your flashlight. Take that code segment back to the deletion portal on the ground floor. Once you do, keep looking inside the house for the rest of the corrupted code. Okay, I've got to come back for that one. Okay, I've got to go downstairs where they are. Stairs, and I'll go and log that other one. Where's the other piece? Oh, it's there. Maybe it got reset. Yeah, it does. Jesus Christ. Let's just clear these out. Isn't there another one here? 
So who here, who here's watching in the chat and has never seen um, VR being played before, like live? And how has this changed your uh, opinion of it, if anything? What do, what do you think of what you're seeing? Upstairs, or maybe it's down here. No, I hear creaking and shit. This is just like freaking me out more for when I play RE7 because the sound design on it is so good. Lighting. Okay, I can't find this last piece. Where is that last piece? There's that head I cut off. Maybe it's... On a shelf. Okay. Let's go back. more coming. Right, the shelf. Let's have a look. Because there's second floor porch. so many times. Right, I'm not left-handed. So, wish me luck. was odd. The virus code pieces should be random shapes, not... What was that? Gas mask? Was that Foss? Couldn't be. He's... This is getting weirder and weirder. This is not going to go over well with the boss. You're not done yet. There are more Zeds on the way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, co-op's awesome, man. But the plan you need to complete on the hardest mode is too hard. If we don't contain the Zed DNA data, the virus could leak it to the outside world. And then heaven only knows who I just have us. a body part? Follow me. Node. He'll take you to the right place. Good luck, Lieutenant. I know you didn't sign up for this, but I appreciate your efforts. Okay, feeling time's over. Get moving, Lieutenant. Right, this is the boss. The Z DNA data is in this field somewhere, Lieutenant. You may need to shoot a few Zeds to unlock it.
in circles. Yeah? are only used in veteran simulations and you put them down hard. Good work. Glad I ended up with someone who knows what they're doing in all this. Grab the data and enter the extraction portal when it appears. Extraction in three, two, one. There we go. Oh, I've got a trophy for that. Oh, yeah, because I've not played a single player before. Okay, how are we doing, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got Five Nights at Freddy's also installed. And uh, Resident Evil 7. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, right, I think it's time now for the main event. I'm not going to need these anymore. Um, do you know what? Every time you take the headset off, you do gasp a bit of like, wow, that was so real. That felt so real. Ooh. Bit of red wine. interesting the thing is Five Nights at Freddy's is like just jump scares whereas RE7 oh man fuck this guys I'm genuinely not looking forward to this I'm genuinely really really not looking forward to this if I haven't said already I'm really really not looking forward to this Oh my god. What the fuck am I doing? this man I keep forgetting how fucking good this is can I can I do can I do chapter select I, I genuinely feel sick I fucking hate this That's 23 minutes. Hey Bex. Um, oh man, seriously, this is so intense. Um, also, I can probably zoom this in, just because. I 
did. I did, I did mention everywhere I was going to have to start it early. But don't worry, because now the main event's starting. Um, I don't know if this is... No, this is, this is when my friend played it. Um, it's been cool. I just haven't started doing the horrible stuff yet. Right, this controller's about to die, so let me just switch them around. Oh yeah, it was because my PS5 died. Right, let's have a look here. Uh, right, I've got to go into settings again. Because a part of me is like, I could start from the beginning. It's got some pretty horrible moments in it. But maybe I just need to start from where I was. Where I just escaped the baker dude. Okay. Genuinely, my heart is racing already just because... It's funny because I, I showed this to a friend who'd never been in VR and she just ran through the first 25 minutes and thought, nah, it's, it's cool, there's nothing to it. And I was like, you're kidding me. And then... Uh, it's because she... It's just different types of horror affect people differently. Oh fuck. Is it over is it overwritten? Has it overwritten uh, my save game? We'll have a look. Oh man. Genuinely not looking forward to this. Five Nights at Freddy's is horrible as well, to be honest. Especially with, like the Buckaroo games and stuff like that. Right. You say I've got it, but you have no idea how bad this game is. Right. Here we go. Escape from the house. This is it. This is it. So I wonder if I can just um, restart the chapter. Ah, oh, Brian's here. The thing is, I'm barely into this game. I genuinely, I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm just not good with it. So yeah, is it possible to um, restart it? Because it'd be cool to start with a dinner scene to show everyone. Because I've literally... I got up to this point in flat screen. I mean, I've played the, the opening stuff. Okay, I assume once that gets there, that means it's fully loaded. God, it takes a while. There we go. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Options. Smooth. Um, smooth crouching. Okay, that's cool. Do that. Walking speed, normal. Don't want it very slow. Okay. And then... Seriously. I fucking hate this. I genuinely fucking hate this. Oh, 
Oh, fuck, man. Why is walking so slow? Can we make it faster? Oh, it's just normal, slow, great. Yeah, no shit. They really stink. Oh. Okay. Oh man, what's down there? Oh, that's where I came out of. So he's out there. Oh fuck, honestly I can't, I can't deal with this. <laughs> I, can't. I can't fucking deal with this. So basically what happened was, I was having dinner with the family, they tried to feed me someone, they chopped off their like mate's arm, and then uh, I managed to escape, but Mr Baker was with a sledgehammer coming through walls and shit. I managed to escape from underneath, and now I'm in this safe house with these fucking stupid arms hanging down by my side. Oh, fuck, what a waste. Didn't mean to press that. Oh, man. Okay, it's dead. Great. Fuck, man. I don't know where to go. So I've come from out there. Do I have to go through that door? Oh. <laughs> I can't explain how real it feels. Part of me wishes I knew what was going to happen just so I could be prepared. But at the moment, I just feel like I'm going to go to that door and someone's going to come slamming through it. Like, my completion... I love it, so I'm just waiting while he reads out what your messages are. Um, I genuinely feel sick. Because, um, as I was saying, there's different sorts of fear in games. Like, there's fear with, like, jump scares and shit, which I don't particularly like, but I can deal with it because it's kind of entertaining scare. This game is, like, a constant sense of dread. And the truth is, even in games that aren't that scary, I'm... I get I scare I scare myself of it because it's just this constant fear of shit going on. Oh man, I can't do this. I fucking can't do this. Yeah, but is there something at that door? Is there someone at that door? Oh, fuck, I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. This is horrible shit, man. See, this is the thing is, when I see Brian from PSVR about Pro playing this shit, it's insane. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to walk over here. And like, he's like, yeah, it's scary, but I can still do it. I can't fucking do it. I can't go to that door. Because the other thing this game does that's really annoying is when shit scary stuff happens, it's kind of like an in-game cutscene. So you can't do anything. Let me just read what the chat says. Get out there. At least your lights are on. I'm just reading what people are saying. You unlocked it. I know. <laughs> Brian. Oh, dude. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is the other thing the game does. Like, I'd rather it just... Fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. I fucking hate this. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? I don't want to look what behind me. Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. It's Mia. What the you fuck do you want? You gotta get out of that house. 
There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. Yeah, that's gonna lock my fucking hell if I get it. Hell of a girl. What's that? You say nothing to be scared of. <laughs> this is the problem, is I'm on PS5 about Pro after this, so I like. Fuck this! Honestly, I can't explain like how much, how anxious this game makes me. It just feels so fucking real. It is it no, this game is That's what I was saying, this game is both um I bet you gotta go downstairs in the garage, haven't you? Look at the reflections in the floor, like it's all so good. Shit, what the fuck's that? Who the fuck is that? Fuck. Open up. Hey, you. Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me, no, no. All right, now we got several calls about some missing persons late. You don't understand, I gotta get out of here. Now calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right, let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right, I'll tell you whatever you want. All right, now that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. I just, every time shit like this happens, I don't wanna turn around. That's the thing in VR. It's look, like right now I could look behind officer, me and there could be something there. Deputy. Right, deputy. Now, do you wanna Honestly, see my name in the obituaries? The anxiety in me right now is so fucking life. huge. My heart is fucking pounding. A fucking Let me have a look knife? at Here. my um. Take it. Heart rate. That's all you're gonna get. Now go, garage, now. What am I gonna do with a knife? Is the garage down here? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back. Put that door oh, back. Oh, shit. Please. See, I have to say, this guy... Oh, fuck. Okay, that's doing nothing. Fuck. I'm gonna kill everyone. I'm just gonna pause it to say something for a minute. Like this, this game, right? Isn't when um Mr. Baker, this guy, is like talking. I think he loses his scare factor. 
he was way more scary at the very start of the game when you didn't know who he was. As soon as he starts talking, it humanises him, and I don't think he's that scary now. Alright. Shit. Right, I've got to do something. Instead of just walking around like a fucking idiot. What's in it? <laughs> you gonna have to do better than that, boy. Need a key. <laughs> I do have a BPM thing that appears on the thing, uh, which I do for the workout games. Okay, so I need to find the key for the car. Hey, we gotta Where get the fuck out of here from? first. You need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me. Honestly, the try. Hey, put that door back! Put that door back! Oh, okay, that's shit. It's a pretty good shovel that you can do that with. What's in there? Fuck it! Do I pick up? Such a while since controls. How do I, how do I switch guns? Do I not have a gun? Why haven't I got a gun? Oh, there it is. Okay, alright, cool. I'm learning. It's been such a while. <sighs> Got it. So when the so the police officer drops the gun. Poor Ethan turned. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me. Told you. Okay, you got 15 minutes. Hey, put that door back. Put that door back. Put Wait. Door back. What up? What up, Mr. Baker? So what I'll do is I'll take that because then that will trigger the cutscene. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh no. Can you this? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> this is awesome in VR. Oh, 
shit, no. Ah, oh, shit! What up? Oh, <laughs> This, you and I. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take you for a ride. No, 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 no! I hate it the way it just keeps going to black though, that's super annoying. Oh, that smooth up and down is really good. Okay, right, what we got here? Herbs? Boy, you're about to see some wonderful. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ. Is he gonna let me climb the ladder now? See, it's those fucking cutscenes are horrible. How's it looking, live stream? Everyone's gone really quiet. Oh shit, I need that. You're in graced. How's it look? Is it? What? Oh shit! Is the? Uh, I've just realised the screen's like got black either side. Um, let me change that one second. Um, if I punch it in, how do I do that? That should be better now. Yeah, there you go. Is everyone engrossed? Fuck, man. At least I've got a gun, but I still feel really unsafe. I just don't like any of this shit. This house is fucking scary, man. Dude, this, this house just feels so real. And I keep just looking at the walls. I can't explain it. This game's terrifying in 2D. Right, there we go, let me in. Oh, for fuck's sake. This house is fucking shit. I hate it. I fucking hate this house. Seriously. What the fuck? How long have I got? I've got 10 minutes. Oh, fuck. Do I have to go upstairs? Or maybe in here? Oh, man. 
Right, someone who's played this before, can you just tell me, am I coming up to the bit where she's at the door when you un unlock it? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, fucking, of course it's gonna ring. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he he's, a, he's dead now. You just That's might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Oh, bullshit. Okay. I'll be in touch. Oh, man. So, yeah, it's that... Oh, the, the thumbnail picture of this... Like... Oh. I like that the light doesn't have my shadow. Can I take the shotgun? character's own fucking breathing scares the sh shit out of me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, no, you're right. I don't want to look at it, I want to... I want to use it. Go upstairs. Oh, fuck. Is she alive? That's, this is the room with the jump scare. Fuck's sake. Can I just shoot her? Oh, it closes. Oh, oh really? Uh, no, it says I'm green. Doesn't that mean I'm good? I think I'm good. Or is it a bit damaged? I think I'm fine. Is 
Jesus Christ, these fucking doors, man. I fucking hate this place. Just, oh, fuck. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit. I don't want to read now. Okay, got a Mia. So I'm going to put the VHS in there and live in another V8. Oh, for fuck's sake. This place is massive, man. Yeah, I bet you could rent it real cheap here. That's for sure. I just want to know where there's, where there's a safe room where I can save. Can anyone give me a clue? So those were the stairs. I don't have enough space. I hear someone. Yeah, but the thing is, I've got to go in a few minutes, so I'd rather just save it. I'm not going to have time to do the tape. That's where I've been. Right. <laughs> See? You can see what a scaredy cat I am with these games. Kill the box. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. I'll, 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 I'll. The tape auto saves. Oh, the game does. Or do you mean when I go into the tape? When I use the tape, it always saves, yeah? Because if so, I'll just put it in. And then... Oh, man. They're so good with the suspense in this, though. Ethan, if you find this, I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened, after what I did. But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't, I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are. You gave us quite a scare, young lady. <laughs> All these babies and shit. Right, I got it. I I do have to go and get ready. <laughs> How are we doing, everybody? Now it is all I say. Cool. All right. I, I am going to return to this. Oh, man. Honestly, I don't know how to explain it. Like, different people have different thresholds for scary stuff. And this game scares the crap out of me. So what I'm going to do is... So, everybody, in... 20 minutes, I need to be on PSVR without parole. Definitely head over and check it out because I'm going to be co-hosting with Brian. But before I do, let's...
You don't believe me? <laughs> you don't believe me. Right. What I'm going to do is, before I end it, I'm just going to go onto Beat Saber and just do like a fun track or something to uh, to end this on. Because I feel like... <laughs> Genuinely, I'm genuinely like shaken. Like I get like tense in the stomach, like proper anxiety. That game is horrific.
we've got to go. Guys, I have got to dash and get ready for PSVR about parole. But I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for tuning in. Um, this has been a lot of fun, and you've seen what it's like for me to be really anxious in a computer game because it is scary. Uh, so you can hear the voice that was... Ah, uh, no! Okay, it's using the built-in microphone now. <laughs> I've got to dash and uh, get on Brian's show now. So, um, yeah, let me get you the link. And then I will see you on there, guys. So, the... Um, Head on over and show some support because Brian's also going to be wearing a really, really great shirt. Uh,
Here it is. I'm going to be on there in 15 minutes or 10 minutes. So I will see you then. Got to go. Bye, 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 bye. Love you all. Love you all.